This is one of these buildings that kind of fascinates me. Uh, as you can tell from uh, this section of the uh, sign, this was covered over, but it was originally the Blakely Granite Company, and they made cemetery monuments. Apparently, it was later purchased by Classic Monuments and Markers, American Granite Marble Company, since uh, 1895. When I first moved onto this bus route uh, just under two years ago, there were still some monuments out here on the property, but the only one here now is this, and I'll talk about here that in a minute. But anyway, I, I tried Googling this property and classic monuments and markers, uh, American Granite and Marble Company, and couldn't find anything uh, except for the fact that in 2017 it was for sale as warehouse property with a third of an acre okay let's uh hoping i can get a good shot of this marker here that you can read it um it actually reads uh mary redder retmeyer 1918 to 1944 and it says beloved how we miss you um boy it is really bright out here it's hard for me to see i uh tried looking her up on uh findagrave.com and i didn't find this exact name but I found who I think it is I found a uh, listing for a Mary a a thaw a l t h l Cecil which I believe would have been a married name Retmeyer it says mother April 24th 1918 to January 23rd 1944 uh, born and died in Carrollton, Hancock County, Indiana, and buried in New Palestine Cemetery. So, not really sure why this 75 year old grave marker is still here on this property. Uh, the um, listing I saw on Find a Grave uh, says, In Loving Memory and Mother. So I don't know if they've changed gravestones or what. Uh, this one does look like it's got some wear on it. So that's a little bit about the what I know about uh, the Blakely Granite Company.